Hi Kia, this is Sebastian Anthony Bai from the beautiful place in Fiskars and this is going to be a special private video for you to get you uh, up and going with uh, understanding what did you do playing is actually about. I'm going to put it into four segments and the first segment is actually the most important for now. I ask you a question regarding what your occupation is nowadays. And I did not ask that because um, I'm interested in a status or in whatever. It's more to make you become aware that where you are now in your life, in your profession, or how good you are with your skills, it took time to make it profitable. It took time to get where you are. Playing did you do is learning like a new language. It's something which is so specific, it's so detailed, that if you are trying to put the same knowledge as in pushing an enter button and then it's done, it's what I was called in my system, the enter push button mentality, is that we have lost to understand what our learning curve is. You didn't spoke in one sentence when you were born, you didn't walk right away 100 miles when you just came out on the earth you learn it step by step but the older we get the more that we are um, actually polluted by the fact that everything we do has an instant reaction um, social media it has an instant reaction um, the putting an email on it has an instant reaction and that actually has made us humans quite impatient impatient of our own learning curves and not even to accept, value and understand how it all came about. Yeah, this age, it works faster, but still within all ages I discover and see in my students is that we forgot to enjoy and value our learning curve. So that's step one. If you feel angry or impatience, say to yourself that it's okay you do not have to be where you are in maybe a month or a week what i'm doing and how things are looking towards you maybe is that it looks easy what i do i've been doing this over 25 years you say that you are 26 years old so imagine i was doing this already when you were in your mom's womb not making a joke but more to realize and i struggled big time because in that time there was no internet there were no teachers and i only learned it partly from me trying to understand what i did and what i felt and that was a little tiny book which in that time was the only available and the author of that book really tried to make you understand what he understand, understood, what did you do playing was about. It confused me, it didn't give me the right directions and even it distracted me of all the things I needed to learn. So, it didn't help me at all. Struggled three years, playing, performing, doing whatever I do, but in the one, in the land of the blind, the one eye is king. So, eventually, now, 25 years later, over 25 years later, I understand and that's what I'm going to provide to you. That's section one, your learning curve. Be more patient. Second, I gave you the exercise regarding breathing. The moment you become impatient, it's also part of your neurologi neurologic uh, capability of working with your oxygen. The thing what we did with the exercise is not just to make you calm or, or to keep you busy. It's the understanding that by putting too much oxygen and using that shallow breathing, well, inhaling through your mouth and using your chest, it generates directly too much carbon dioxide. We have two things, inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. It's the most important thing people learn to understand. Why? Because 
having too much carbon dioxide in your system triggers a fight and flight system in your in your nervous system and it directly addresses to making your body your your nervous system producing adrenaline and cortisol those two things those two substances your body creates itself and it puts you into into that that, that hyper mode or it can make you very tired in either way it only is useful if you would do it in exceedable situations where you really need to work on it but if you're just sitting and playing did you do and doing all the time this <laughs> And saying, well, I don't get it. It's, it frustrates me. I cannot get that wrong. Then you're actually putting yourself into that fight and flight zone where you have no escape of releasing the carbon dioxide and the toxins that make you mm, this. The exercise I did with my nose and my belly is the opposite. It generates dopamine and serotonin, which in your system creates the happy vibe, makes you relax. But most importantly, by exhaling long enough, your body releases the carbon dioxide. So it releases also the toxin. It also lowers the stress frequency in your brain. So that's part two. Part three is that within this small video I'm going to send to you, I'm going to make you experience that the whole circular breathing thing, forget it. It's a complete nonsense word and the complete did you do community still keeps on using that word because they don't have any other word to choose from. I, 25 years ago, deliberately deleted that word. Why? Because it's nonsense. No mammal can circle and breathe. You're either inhale or you exhale, and that's it. What I use, APM system, air pressure movement. We are going to experience how to create air pressure and how to make that continuously. That's within my APM system. I'm not going to tell all about it because then the video will be way too long, but The first thing we're going to acknowledge now, and don't take my, well, do take my word for it, but if you feel that you're getting um, impatient with that thing again, go back to your breathing. Breathing is part of life. Breathing is all of life. So, and I'm very strict with that. I want to make my students become aware of what they are doing, not playing tricks. I'm not selling any tricks. I'm not selling any make-believes of me being a guru. No, I'm just busting on by and I want to make you aware that you can be the master of yourself too. Period. Nothing more, nothing less. So, part three, creating the air pressure. The air pressure you need to make a continuous flow on your instrument is only been made if we understand what air pressure is and how we can create it. Air pressure only comes when you can push with muscle air out to an opening which is smaller than where it came from. Ever seen an airplane tire? Of course, I think you're doing quite good in your own business, so you've been traveling also a lot. An airplane, the valve of an airplane tire, it still stays small. There's no use to put such a valve into such a wheel, because then there will not be pressure. Our lips are the valve. And our respiratory system, our lungs, our diaphragm, that's the motor where we push through. I said before within the exercise that you should concentrate on putting energy on your heels. 
Why? Because if I'm putting energy on my heels, then I'm solid. And I have complete control over my contraction of my diaphragm, my respiratory system, my back muscles, and my belly muscles. So, a part next to that is not only making purse lip sounds, because eventually that does not give you control. What gives you control over your sound is if you make a little bit of smile with your cheeks. Being a vocal coach, being a vocal trainer, these are one of the Gregorian trainings I've been doing with every person who had problems with using their airflow. Put your cheeks up like this, like a bit of fake smile, and then put only the middle part of your lips together, like this. And now push your air through. And yes, it may be sound funny, Acknowledge that. It's okay. We're not here to do beauty contests. We're doing here, we are here now to create muscle memory, muscle training. It's a fitness exercise I'm giving you now. So, by pointing myself out in front towards that focus point, as I said in the exercise, I'm inhaling with my nose, the tip of my nose. That's why it's here, the finger point. My belly pushes forward gently, no needing force. Putting my cheek, my cheeks up, first lips, and now I'm pushing the air through. This is the exercise you need to feel that your muscles are contracting you need to feel your back muscles you need to feel your front muscles you need to feel your your cheek muscles and your lip muscles these are acknowledgements to understand what you're going to need to get it in control if you don't know what you're feeling you cannot control it right so then after you been pursing that lips and you've been pushing that air through, uh, through, you feel that eventually your air pressure runs out. You don't, you cannot control it anymore. Why? Because your air is, well, uh, that's finished. It's gone. Normally you would inhale, right? And speaking and communicating to people, you also have to pause. Where the capital start with the sentence, you inhale, and with dots at the end, you stop. If I would not, if I would not do that, and I would keep continue play uh, talking like this, eventually it would be very boring, a very irritating video because I'm not stopping, I'm not pausing. <sighs> Understanding that my air flow is part of how I communicate. So the air flow I can only continue. If I pause before the moment my air runs out, my air pressure runs out. After that, it's no use. You're just only irritating yourself. And that eventually happens that people then inhale with their mouth because they blow out too long. So, how does that look in this exercise? Just look like this. I'm stepping a bit forward. This. And the other part is keep your cheeks flat. It's not first about how we are experiencing the air pressure. Not the continuous thing, only air pressure. Keep your cheeks flat. And your jaw, keep it back. Like this. Now I'm focusing on the end of my instrument. And the end of my instrument is the same focus point I've been using also in the exercise with breathing. Now I'm inhaling gently. And you heard my um, 
sound goes lower. I'm not exaggerating now, I'm not bragging because I could continue longer, but it's more to make you understand what it is. This exercise only teaches and trains you that you are in control of your drone sound. Within playing did you do, there are only, only three sounds, main sounds you can make. The drone, the drag, and the horn. The drone, the drag, and the horn they are only amplifying what the air pressure of my lips is. So I'm playing with the air pressure. I'm playing with the tension. And I'm not putting any uh, judgment on it. Everybody makes judgments out of what their sounds are like. If you're starting, how can you judge your sound? The only thing you can do is to become aware which boundaries you have within your sound. First, within the horn, dragon horn, is that it's like a, I'm not getting that drone rolling. Why? Because my lips are too loose or too loose, my lips are loose. Then, the other part, which sometimes people refer as uh, a fart or whatever, or an elephant shout, that's what we call the horn. That's the top speed, the, the top pressure where I can use with my, with my lips. The thing that is in between, that's my drone. And why would your sound in that, diff in that area be different than my sound. When I'm using this, for you and it's a training thing so have fun with it is to start your inhaling with the drone and then make the distinguished change of lowering your lips so you get the drag and then push up towards the horn then the exercise will sound like this. And I'm not yet going to tell you because I'm not going to chew anything up for you. You have to work it on, you have to work for it on yourself as well. You need to understand, you have, you have to need to have the urge, the guts to say, I'm able to look at myself. Yes, I want to learn this, but it's me that it's reflecting in the mirror. Nobody else. It's the man. You're, you're the man in the mirror. I'm just the man in front of the camera. So, I'm not going to chew out where these three different things are within my lips. Feel them yourself. Then, part four. Battery went out or the camera ran out. Part four, in regards of pushing your airflow out, it can also be that uh, you need to make more of an active reaction in pushing your air out. And you can recall that as spitting. 
then you spit your air out like there's a maybe a hair between your lips. And by doing that, I'm really able to control what I do. So, um, your favorite music you have on your iPod or whatever put it on and try to or have fun with the rhythm you're already hearing so if maybe um, uh, the, the music says like boom chak boom boom chak boom chak boom boom chak then you can just spit along with your dits <laughs> The more fun you have with what you're doing, is that the more your muscles also re re reconnect with it as, hey, yeah, I want to keep remembering this. So, last bit. The mouthpiece I already told you about. It's personal. Let me show the mouthpiece you have. And in the next video, when you comment towards me, then also show me how you are doing it with your with your cheeks how you are using your 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 lips your pursed lips and of course if there are questions comments leave them back to me the last part i'm going to tell about it now is that being able to use that and i'm going to say this word only once after this, I'm just only going to use my own words. If you want, if your focus is to learn the circular breathing, then you're forgetting where, what you need to do to get to that. That APM, that air pressure movement, only is a result of understanding what your muscles need to do. And blowing into a glass with a straw it gives you an aware, awareness what actually that flow is. But there's no air pressure, you cannot push pressure onto your lips. And actually, it doesn't give you the same back pressure result as a did you do would have. It only would give you the understanding what eventually happens during that process. Nothing more, nothing less. So if you feel that in your exercise, in your, in your training, you're getting stuck and getting irritated, remind yourself of it that, hey, I'm doing this because I like to learn it. Listen to the word, I like to learn it. Nobody's behind you with a whip. Nobody's behind you with, you need to accomplish this within a month. It's not your boss, it's not somebody else around you who says, well, you need to accomplish it. It's you that says it to yourself. So if you are, getting irritated or mad, step out of it. Regain consciousness about how I have I been breathing. Have I been doing this all the time? Would you imagine if I would use that way of breathing in my daily life? This video would be very exhausting. Because then I will always do like this. And I'm not. I'm using still the same Inhaling, exhaling exercise I'm doing when I'm playing if you do. So, without further ado, summary, sum up. Air pressure you create with your lips and your cheeks in a smile. So you can create pursed lips. This is your valve and you push the air through with a motor which is your diaphragm. The most stable you stand,
by putting energy on your heels and unlocking your knees gives you the best project uh, um, situation to start with. There are only three main sounds, the drum, the drag and the horn. If you listen to your sounds or when you are listening to your sounds, try to Um, try to understand where in that spectrum your sound is so you can coach yourself back hey now I'm here and I'm listening more like to like um, a, a, a drag sound then I need to tension my lips more hey now I'm more into that horn sound then I need to lower my lips and I lower by doing this with my with my cheeks Third, and last one, is that pushing the air, you can also use the spitting way of pushing your air out. Like you're just spitting out something. And here, that my sound is a T. It's not a P, it's not a D, it's a T. And my tongue stays inward. So not like this. Like this. Have fun. Play. Enjoy. And let me hear how you accomplished what you've been doing now in a video reaction. I will get back to you. This is your private video for now. I'm not going to explain all the other things because then it will be like, well, then we need to talk about um, um, coaching fees and and how I can guide you in more specific, more private ways. But looking forward to hear from you and uh, stay tuned. Bye bye.